Hey, it's Dave from Well Prepped. I'm doing a new series called User Spotlight, and I'm super excited. I'm highlighting creative things that users have done with their Well Prep pages that are really working out in their practice. If you have something that you're really proud of on your page, let me know so that I can share it with everybody. I've spoken to hundreds of doctors as they've onboarded Well Prepped, and I've been blown away by the creative things that people are doing. But it occurred to me that you don't know those things, and I don't want to keep them a secret. So here we go. I'm highlighting Dr. Ricardo Sanchez Ortiz, who practices in Puerto Rico. And he's done some pretty cool things with this page. It's in Spanish because he practices in Puerto Rico, uh, where most of his patients are Spanish speaking. This is a video that I want to highlight here. Uh, this is a video on risks of robotic prostatectomy. So let's check this out for a second. So I'm going to keep this on mute here. But Ricardo is talking at his desk. And I spoke to him. He's using his MacBook with the Photo Booth app. I get the sense that he's given this talk many times. But this is a talk about surgical risks. And check this out. It's 21 minutes long. And let me just pause this for a second. Now, for surgeons out there, how many of you have given a, a talk to patients about surgical risks that last 21 minutes? I mean, it's aspirational. We would all love to spend that much time going through all the details, but you know how it is. I mean, in my own personal practice, I have a longer version of an explanation. I have a 10 minute version. I have a five minute version. I have a one minute version that does nobody any favors. Really, we end up highlighting that maybe the top three most common risks. Do we get into all the details that we'd like to? Probably not. This is a way that Ricardo has decided to give his patients a more uniform experience and to go over the details that he really wants to. The beauty of it is he needs to do it really well once and then never again. So really, it's it's pretty impressive. Um, he's speaking in Spanish, so I'm going to have the sound off here. Um, let's talk about this from two aspects. One is the medical legal aspect, and then there are some more social aspects to this video. Um, obviously, from a medical legal side, I think he protects himself. Now, I've spoken to him. He operationalizes this in the sense that he, when he has patients sign the consent form, he has them attest that they've watched this video, which I think is pretty smart. Um, but I think there are deeper benefits here that go beyond medical legal protection. And that's actually not the main reason why I'm highlighting this. Of course, that's a creative aspect. But a patient gets to see Ricardo when the patient is in a comfortable setting at home, for example. They can spend time with this video. They can rewind. They can pause. They can share it with their family. Um, and they get to see his full face with no mask on listen to his voice. Um, and in some ways, when you spend this much time seeing a video with someone, it strengthens or reinforces a bond. Um, and, and I think that's pretty profound and not to be understated. Now let's talk about production value, because I know a lot of you may have thought about recording a video, but you're nervous to do it. We're all nervous to do it. I want you to understand that it's not as big of a deal as you think it is. So as I mentioned, he's using his MacBook on his desk, but this could easily be his phone propped up on some books or on a little tripod or leaning against something at approximately eye level. If you look in his glasses, you can see that he has a ring light. Don't let that be intimidating. You don't have to wait to have a ring light to record a video like this. If you want to get one, they're pretty cheap on Amazon and it can provide some nice lighting. but you know, again, this is a pretty low fidelity video. It's not high production value. No offense, Ricardo. But that's what's so beautiful about it, because it's authentic. So don't wait for high production value and don't be intimidated. Just record your videos. 
For those of you who are still here, let's dig into some other cool stuff Ricardo has on his page. He recorded a video both in English and Spanish instructions after robotic prostatectomy. Now this is a nine and a half minute long video. And this is a chance for you to get your thoughts organized to remember all the things that you want to tell people about recovery after a procedure, let's say. Maybe in an actual patient interaction, you don't always remember to say all those things. Here's a way to make it uniform every time and to explain it really well one time and then never again. So just imagine how comforting this is. Even if you give this information in person, more than half of it is going to be forgotten. Here we have a video that can be rewound, paused, fast forwarded, shared with family. Um, it's beautiful. And again, this can be a spur of the moment thing. This is not um, a, a video crew, a movie crew in here um, with makeup and fancy lights and, and expensive equipment. This is his phone on a, on a tripod or some kind of secure iPhone holder. He has his AirPod in one ear, although that's optional. There's no special lighting and he's just, it's just himself talking. Um, so I think that's beautiful. He has another explanation video on what is a, a prostate biopsy. And again, um, nothing fancy sitting at his desk this time using his laptop. He holds up a little model of the, the pelvis. Um, as a patient, I would really appreciate something like this. And I hope you're watching this and you think, yeah, you know, I, I could do that. Even for those of you who've never recorded a video before. The last tip I have for you that we can all borrow from Ricardo, and I never dreamed of this, but this is tours of physical spaces, all right? Prostate biopsy. He takes people into the prostate biopsy suite. He talks about the machine that he's going to be using. They can see the size of the room. They can see the bed they're going to be laying on. Demystifying the space and getting to spend another two and a half minutes with their doctor, uh, Ricardo. Now, um, he did the same thing for prostate removal, he gives a tour of the operating room. Now, there's so many reasons why this is such a smart idea. Removing anxiety for patients to see the space, see the bed, see the robot, see what the operating room looks like, and to listen to Ricardo talk, see his mannerisms, um, what a nice guy he is. I, I really feel strongly that this contributes to the whole bonding process. And um, if I was a patient, I would appreciate this so much. So this is really a job well done. If you're, again, if you're proud of something you did on your page, big or small, please let me know.